Good morning, Journey, and welcome to another Midweek Connection. I'm Carl, the youth pastor, uh, and I'm thrilled to be with you here today and get to share God's Word. We're going to be in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, beginning in verse 17 in just a minute, but I want you to think of something. Uh, when I was very young, when I was just a kid, if one of my siblings, and I had three sisters for a while, and then, and then I had a younger set, a brother and sister, and so if one of my three older sisters came to me and said, Carl, you need to go split the wood. We lived in Wisconsin. Splitting wood was a thing because we, we burned wood for our heat. If one of them came to me and said that, I'd probably not do it. Why? Because it's my, it's my sister. Like, I don't have to listen to her. But if one of them came to me and said, Carl, dad said you need to split the wood. That was a whole different story because she was representing someone. Now, if she brought that message and said, Carl, dad said you need to split the wood, the message was right, and the way that she told me was right, so the method was right. Hey, Carl, dad needs you to split the wood. But if she came to me and said, Carl, guess what? Dad said you need to split the wood, all right? Now, my response wouldn't be great. I would go split the wood, but I'd be angry about how she, she gave me that message. And I would think, that's not how dad said it, because... He wouldn't, he wouldn't say it to me that way. She hadn't carried the message that had been given to her in a great way. See, her the message was good. The method of her delivering it to me wasn't that great. Take a look at 2 Corinthians 5, verse 17. It says, Therefore, if any was, is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone, the new is here. All this is from God, who reconciled us to himself, through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation, that God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting people's sins against them, and he has committed to us the message of reconciliation. We are therefore, because God's reconciled us, because God's completed the work of making things right by having Christ die for us, we are therefore Christ's ambassadors as though God were making his appeal through us. So what this, this verse is saying is, look, the truth is all of us have fallen short of God's perfection. And the only way to reconcile that ledger, to bring things to even, to make sure things are right, is by belief and trust in Jesus Christ and his work on the cross and what he did for us. That's the message of reconciliation. Jesus reconciles us to God to have relationship with him forever. But what Paul says here is, look, Christian, you are God's ambassador. You are Christ's ambassador. As though God had given the message and was making his appeal to the people around you through you. So I want you to think about a couple of things. As a Christian, we're called to be God's messengers. Paul says it right here. What's the message that you're giving to people? Is the message that, hey, the right way to live and the most important thing in life is to live in, with a reflection of a specific political party's values, with a specific president. Uh, or if I'm an American, that's what's important. Or is your message, hey, God brought his kingdom down here to this earth through the work of Jesus Christ to reconcile you and I who are dead, the Bible says, in our trespasses and sins, who have been God's enemies by nature of our sin and the wrong things we've done. And Christ is the only way of reconciliation. Is that your message? That, that's the message that God has given to us. And, and as an ambassador, I represent Jesus to the people around me. That's the message that I'm giving to them. And how are you giving that message? The method in which you deliver it also matters. Uh, God didn't give us this message to beat people over the head with it or to try to force people, or deceive people, or trick people. God gave us this message to share in a loving way, to share the truth, to be bold and, and blatant about the truth of God's salvation and the salvation offered through Jesus Christ, uh, but to do it in a way that's loving, that's relational, that's kind and gracious. And as we heard from Pastor Matt a few, a few weeks ago, non-judgmental. Christian, what's the message that you're giving? Both in person to the people around you and, and places like social media or, or online. I know that for me, this was a really challenging passage. That 
God has appointed me as his ambassador. God has appointed me as his representative. And the way that I talk to the people around me about him and the way that I live as if I love him is the message that God is supposed to be the message that God is sending to the world that, hey, Jesus loves you. Jesus died for you. And you can be reconciled to God. You can have relationship with God only through him. Thank you so much for your time, Journey. Let's pray. God, I, I hope that um, you'd help us just take these thoughts to heart. Thank you for the, the work of reconciliation that Jesus did on the cross. And we are honored and privileged to be your messengers here on earth. Help us to remember who we represent. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day, Journey.